Guitar band Guns N' Roses released its last pair of studio albums, both called Use Your Illusion, and six years since the group last performed in public. Since that time, leader Axl Rose has parted ways rather bitterly, it seems, with his former Guns colleagues, most notably guitarist Slash, and he's withdrawn into the studio to work on new material with a new group of players. First result of this, uh, these endless sessions is a track called Oh My God on the just-released soundtrack of the upcoming Arnold Schwarzenegger movie End of Days. More will be featured on a new Guns N' Roses studio album called Chinese Democracy, which Rose hopes to have out in the new year. We spoke to Axel Rose by telephone from Los Angeles on Monday night and asked him the inevitable question, what's up? What have you been doing for the last six and a half years since like the last tour ended? Trying to figure out how to make a record. I originally wanted to make a traditional record or try to get you know, back to an appetite thing or something because that would have been a lot easier for me to do as I was involved in a lot of uh, lawsuits for Guns N' Roses and in my own personal life, so I didn't have a lot of time to try to develop any, a, a new style yeah. or reinvent myself, so I, I was hoping to write a traditional thing, but I was not really allowed to do that. Uh, what prevented you from doing like a traditional rock record? Slash. <laughs> but you could have found another guitar player or something, right? Somebody didn't come and come into you know my radar that would have would have really replaced Slash in a proper way. Yeah. Was there any time you were you thinking of keeping keeping you know uh, like Duff or Matt Storm or anybody on board too, or is that just all over? That was really you know their choice to leave. Everybody that's gone did it by choice. Do you find it difficult to capture with a new group of musicians that same sort of group feeling that the original Guns had, which is really kind of a spirit? Uh, no, no, not not with the particular people involved. Um, to be honest. Uh, it was a long time, you know, for me, since Guns and Roses as the old lineup has been fun. Yeah. And um, the new guys are, you know, been a breath of, of fresh air. People that hear, oh my God, they might say, well, gee, the new Guns and Roses is all this this sound. But I think what you're saying is like there are a bunch of different kinds of it's, sounds, right? No, it's it's a it's a lot of of different sounds. There's there's some other really heavy songs there's a lot of aggressive songs but they're all in different styles or different sounds mm -hmm. um it, it is truly a melting pot i think have you thought of maybe taking the boys out and playing somewhere on new year's eve or something we're going to see you nah. before no none of that nah. <laughs> nah, nah. why not nah, 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 nah. so we'll see you sometime in the new year right you will be around yeah we'll, we'll be around um you know i i not not working on all this to, to keep it buried. No, so we, we, we plan on getting out there and, and, and plan on doing it right. Man, it keeps up on a lot of new music. We'll have lots more from Axel on this weekend's edition of MTV News 1515, Friday night at 7.